August 19th ended up being a very strange day in American history. In Boston, Massachusetts, we saw thousands upon thousands of counter-protesters in response to the neo-Nazi demonstrations there. However, I want to cover a different protest that happened in Gainesville, Georgia. This is the site where the Northeast Georgia Democratic Socialists of America had sponsored a protest against a statue called the Old Joe Statue. I was very worried when I was driving into when I was driving into Gainesville. I when I looked over and did my research, I saw on Facebook there was a lot of different ideas on how to counter protest. For example, one person said that we should sing a national anthem as loud as possible so we can drown out the demonstrators. Perfectly fine tactic, perfectly reasonable. There's more aggressive ones. For example, somebody advocated for buying a paintball gun in anticipation of this demonstration. Another person outright called for civil war. So I had no idea what to expect, but rather than tell you about it, I'd rather just let the little footage roll. So without further ado, Gainesville, Georgia. We need to make sure that the people who live in these towns feel comfortable and having a constant reminder of the genocide of their people um, are uh, prominently displayed in the public. It's just inappropriate and needs to stop. So it's time to take them down. You think, Norm, can I ask a question? Sure. You know, if, if somebody enslaved your family, murdered your family members, raped your family members, would you build a statue of them to remember the history? Uh, no, no, no. And especially a, a statue that idealizes and glorifies the people fighting for a, a grotesquely racist system. Any comments from you? I uh, know I agree with everything they said. This this statue celebrates the people that wanted to, to keep our black brothers and sisters in chains, and it's should be removed. It has no place in a public square. So you're saying that, that this should stay so we can learn from our past? Yes. Tell me that. Yeah, that we learn from our past. Yes. Okay. Um, so what do you think would be a compromise? What would, what would work for you? I think it's going to always happen to an about Gainesville and it all centered around this. Hmm. I know that um, that this actual the guy uh -huh. did own slaves and and um, I just remember seeing this all the time with my mother which she used to shock all along as a kid. Hmm. Um, my mother just saying well this thing represents everything about slavery. So tell me why you're here and and when why you brought your son. The biggest reason I'm here is just because uh, I feel like that all the stuff that's going on in our nation is just stuff that people are trying to divide us as Americans. And I feel like if uh, we would stop trying to uh, focus on our differences and focus on our uh, common things, we could be a great country again, and that's what we need to do. And we don't need people going around, especially in Gainesville, that's a peaceful, peaceful little town that it is. Uh, you very seldom hear anything Back in the 60s, you, you know, there was issues. But nowadays, there's not hardly any issues in Gainesville. Everybody lives and works together. My community is probably 90 to 95% Hispanic. I don't have no issues with them. We all live and work together and we worship together. My church, we go to church with uh, all races. We have uh, all races in our church. And God's the one that, you know, we have to look to for peace and happiness. And that's what we're what they're doing is um, actually in the counter protesting. Um, they're actually setting up. Do you know where the Turner Wood and Smith building is? Okay, if you walk straight back up this road back here just mm -hmm. on the other side of the square it's that building just on the other side so that's where that's where everybody's setting up at right now so i don't i can't have my legal right to go and somewhere i want to well what it is is they've already um 
they did file a permit mm -hmm. for here, and right now they're just setting everybody up down there. But is this not public property? It is. And do they, I not have to pay my taxes and all? Can I well, go in order them? to protest with a sign inside the city of Gainesville, you have to obtain that permit. Okay. For a single person? Yes, sir. To express my views, That's correct. I have to have a permit. Yes, sir. So you're denying me my First Amendment right? Yes, sir. As to having that on the square? Yes, sir. Okay. You yes. documenting this? The only I'm thing that we're asking is just, a, you know, Everybody's setting up up there. Any kind, anybody that's here for obviously the opposite side of, you know, what the okay. permit was filed for. So I can stay here just my sign can't, right? I mean, I can't deny you of that. Okay. Just with with the sign, you know, I, I am asking you to go up there if you have the sign, but without the sign, you know, I can't. Yeah. Can't necessarily deny you that. But I don't understand how you can deny me my First Amendment right. To well, I'm, I'm not denying you that. The yes, only thing is, you're telling, having me I can't, you're telling me I can't be in the place where I want to be a public place and I pay taxes to be. Just in. not with the sign. If you don't and have the sign, that expresses my no, views. So if I get out here and just speak my views, uh, are you going to tell me I can't say then? As long as there's no public disturbance made of it and the peace is kept, then no. And there's no public disturbance being made now, right? Well, everybody's coming with up having the sign. Know. There is a there is a uh, city ordinance against carrying the sign. In order to carry the sign, can you give me that ordinance. I can get you a copy of it. Okay. Would you do that? Yeah. Yeah, I can work on that. All right. I'll see if I can get it. Thank you. What about that sign right over there, bud? So, just to clarify, he said that the counter protest is over a block that way. Or where, where did you say? Yeah, there are two blocks that way. Two blocks that way. I might, yeah. I might go Somewhere there, where right? you can't see and... and yeah, you can't see the statue or anything. They as took far my away from the statue as possible. They took my stick away too, and you know what it was made out yeah. of? But he wow. didn't ask you to leave with your sign. Yeah. No, he didn't ask me to leave with my sign. Okay. And there's a sign over there. Yeah, they ain't taking that sign. Yeah. He said I could have the sign. What he's couldn't... saying is they have a permit to have a sign and you don't. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about that? I think that as an American, taxpayer in America, I have a right to express my First Amendment uh, <coughs> rights wherever I want to, as long as I'm on public property, it's where I pay taxes to support. I've got a right to be here just like anybody else does. And just because someone else gets a permit to protest doesn't mean that my rights are negated. What, are, what were you planning to do when you came to, and to, when the rally started, or the protest started today? Stand and hold this sign, that's it. Because I really truly feel that Everybody's got a right to express their opinions, however they want to. And whatever their belief is, that's their beliefs, just like mine or mine. And my belief is that this stuff is causing division between the races and between the people, and I think it's wrong. And that's the only thing I'm trying to do is uh, express that I think this kind of stuff is wrong. And as Americans, we need to work together instead of finding our differences and uh, focusing on them. We need to find the common things that we can come together and be all Americans, race, creed, color, doesn't matter. Absolutely. What do you, I have talked to a couple of people that I've talked to who live in Gainesville who are opposed to this this statue. What do you say to them? They say it's offensive to them. What's well, your... you know, there's a lot of things that's offensive to everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see <coughs> these guys running around here with the pants down below the, they, that's offensive to me, but that's their right to do it, you know. Just like this statue's been here since, what, 1906 or something like that, 1902, uh, and it's never uh, been an issue before. And the only one that's making it an issue are the uh, people who are protesting today. Okay. Can I get a picture? And can you explain, like, the, the reasoning behind your sign, like what that means. The point is that. Okay. People who have passed by this for generations, 1909, I guess. I believe it was put there specifically to intimidate, to remind people of color that you're in the South, brother. Keep your place. Mm hmm. I'd love it to come down and go to a museum. That's you where think I think. Go to a museum. That's where I think all this stuff belongs. Frankly, I've been to Gettysburg. I've been to Fredericksburg. I've been to the museums. I'm kind of a history buff. I enjoy this stuff a lot. Uh, but when I grew up, going to school in the 1960s, uh, in upstate New York, where the cows outnumber the people seven to one, right? 
Well, we just <laughs> didn't. I never, ever heard anybody say, boy, we sure did win that one. Well, we just didn't think that way. And hmm. I don't think that way. I'm a first-generation American. My father and mother both came here from Ireland. I just wasn't raised with some of the baggage that some other people carry. You know, simply racism. Hmm. I wasn't raised that way. A better soldier would tell as an adult. I always say he was a minute man. Hmm. To me, I don't even pay to you. To me, he represents the strength and the resilience of Ainsley. Because like he said, he, he survived three tornadoes. Everything right here was decimated. He was still standing. To me, this represents Gainesville's strength. It represents Gainesville's resilience. We came back bigger and stronger after those tornadoes. And I see Joe, and I remember, yes, we have been beaten down, but we came up. I don't, Confederate, it's fine, whatever. And it's not, and it's really, it's just for the people that lived here and died in the war. So I'm, I'm curious. So yeah. um, if just the bottom half of that where the text is if that were gone put a plaque on it I don't care That's, that Keep could Joe. be the compromise I think the compromise should be put a plaque on there commemorating how long Joe's been here what he's had what he survived the tornadoes yeah, yeah. If, you have, if, you have, if you have Christ living in here you shouldn't look at that and see the Bible okay. you should look at that and see the history of America the United States of America period okay now I'm going to give you another I'm going to say something that I just love making Georgia where they have a building that was built in the 1800s and right. they call it the bus terminal. Right. Well, you know what's on the side, on, on the top of that building? Colored waiting room. <laughs> and, the, and the people in that area feel comfortable with that being there. I saw it, I felt very uncomfortable. So I feel that, okay, I feel it should come down. I feel that that should be scribbled over or whatever. But this sign right, this statue right here represents that same thing to black, to African Americans. Because African Americans see that as the same thing. It's just like me talking to you. I won't call you a white man, I'll call you a European American. I call myself an African American. And the reason that I, and the reason that I, and the reason that I do that, wow. and the reason that, let me just tell you, you're why you're I'm here, you're American, no, African -American. No, African -American. no, no, you're, you're fine, you're fine. You are but look, but look, let me just, we, we are going to play, we are going to play the same. We, we are going to play the same. Identical in the Yes. We are all, we are all, yes. 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 If that, if that, if that, if yes. But when you, when you take color up, when you take color up, I can't, I can't choose a white person. Just like I feel offended being called a black person. I feel, I feel offended being called a nigga. I feel, being, I feel offended being called all that because what am I first? I am an African American. Don't wear the same shirt, Mondo. You know what I'm saying? You're being, if you fill out an application, you're being defined. Americans. Okay, so I'm going to put other and just put just Americans. I'm just American on the application. Okay, that's what we all are. So, what what do you see in the population? Okay, if you Amen. see me on the street, I'll look at you and you, everybody else. Okay, Amen. if you see me as just an American. I do. Okay. Just. No, it's a privilege. It's an honor. What? What's the privilege? To, to be, be an American. American. Be, you're okay. not, a, you said okay. just an American. So you're, no, so, you're an so American. You're just me yes, I am an American. Mm -hmm. I'm an American. But when you see me, the person that I am, the person that I am, to get the way that I talk, to get any of that, what do you see me as? I mean, an you know, American. And, 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 you can, and you can just say that you can say the word. Are you guys allowed to talk or not really? Okay. My question is why. I just want to know why. 
Here. Yeah, yeah. express your thoughts. What, what is going on here? This right here, this is exactly right, what I'm talking about you. right here. There's no one to protect, and they're sitting here guarding so us, making us move out of the way, way and literally push us out of the way. Do you see this? I'm recording it. This, this was a peaceful, of, of this was a peaceful event. Sure. Can anyone share, share with us a threat that, that's been out Anyone feeling unsafe where this type of police presence is necessary? Yes. No. No. Thank you for that. You point, could I, are you no. the sheriff or? No comments. No comments? Okay. I, I, I'm here to show my love for my country, my flag. I'm tired of other people showing up and they're so negative and want to do it their way. Yeah. Um, I have just as so much right to protect my my history. I'm very patriotic. I totally get that. Very but, proud. And you know, what's interesting to me, I, I didn't see anything that would have warranted any violence. Like, Oh, I think this is magnificent. This is preventive. 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 Yep. Interesting. Absolutely. And I, I so appreciate what they're doing. Fantastic. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm more interested about people's thought about the police presence here, because this is very unusual to me. It is unusual. Uh, we're, you know, what's going on is unusual in our, in our country. That people think little groups have a right to go in and destroy part of our history because they're uncomfortable. Hmm. It's okay so you, to be so you, uncomfortable. So you think they're going to destroy the statue? You think that was going to happen? I think the pot has. You think it's a possibility at least? Oh, absolutely. Hmm. Yeah, and I don't think it's local. I think it's all agitated from outside. The the pre-made signs, those weren't made on the kitchen table. Yeah. Uh, what what are your thoughts about this? This is unusual. I'm not gonna i I'm not gonna say anything. You're not gonna right? say anything? Okay. I, I think it's good in case something did happen. What is your opinion about this monument here? My opinion, I always see it in a museum personally. It's in a museum. It's right here. This is out. I mean, yes. Okay, fine. Are you talking you about a public town? museum or a private museum? Public museum. What's the difference between a public museum and a public square? It's the... So, having a statue you out... You ain't got a clue. You're no, 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 no. Let me, let me elaborate. Listen, man. Man, I do live here. Don't start throwing insults at people because he didn't do that with you. Do something about it. My, my thoughts are that Pardon? having it out in the public, having it out commemorating like this, like it's it's like an honor towards Confederacy, having it out like this. Having a museum, that that expresses more it's a history like that we need to learn from. That's just my This monument survived a tornado in 1936, and it was the only thing. So it survived a tornado in 1936. And it's mm -hmm. Everything else it's around going, here was destroyed. And it's going to... Survive, you guys. So generally, just what are your thoughts about? Let's start with the statue. What are, you, what are your thoughts about the statue? Um, my thought of this action is that it was a peaceful gathering initially, <laughs> and then the SWAT came in and, and ruffled a little, a little feathers or made it a little um, peaceful with hmm. their actions. They overreacted, in other words. But for the most part, it's been peaceful. No one's arguing. No one's fighting. Um, everyone giving the, they're giving their opinion about why it should be either here in the city of you know downtown. Gainesville, or why it should be moved into a museum. Hmm. So you, you think it should go to a museum, or? Honestly, I do. I thought about it, and I was like, okay, you have people who died, fought for the war, and I understand these are fathers, these are brothers, these hmm. are husbands. It was a tough time, but as we progress and move forward, we're not seeing any race history. We're not seeing that their actions, you know, at the time, I guess, they fought for their cause. What I'm saying is it is preventing us from 
um, healing the wounds of slavery, of segregation, of um, you know all those things that are rooted in hate. It is what it is. It's hate. It is a rep it is a, a resemblance of hate. And anyone who reads the history, whether it's in high school and or college, um, who learn that as a child, especially as a minority child or adult. So like I said, I'm not saying I hate you know, the people, but as long as you have hate in your heart and you don't want to acknowledge and respect other cultures and races, um, interracial marriages, um, working together, um, integrating schools. We fought so hard and so long for these purposes for equal rights. And not that's too a long part ago. of it. Not too long ago. We've had people who were assassinated, murdered. It's all taken into perspective of ancestry. So that's something that you should always consider um, on the other side. <laughs> Good afternoon. Welcome. My name is Brad. I'm from the Northeast Georgia Democratic Socialists of America. We're the organizer of this event. We are a branch of the Metro Atlanta Democratic Socialists of America, the largest socialist organization in the United States currently with 25,000 dues paying members. This, this, act, this action is a response to the events in Charlottesville that transpired with the Unite the Right rally. We are responding to a call from the Day of Action by an organization known for the movement of black lives to rally this Saturday, the 19th, around Confederate monuments and other symbols of white supremacy across the nation. Our group is not acting alone. I have been in contact with people in the Huntsville DSA, the Boston DSA, and chapters throughout the Southern Caucus. Um, when we see Nazis openly marching in the streets carrying flags with swastikas, this is, this is, this is, where, this, this is where we draw the line, and our organization is willing to step up to this outright fascism. We will, I will, uh, interrupting aside, we're about done. I believe one of my friends in the chapter may say a few words and then we will disperse to a private location. Thank you. We have the most convincing we've ever seen. Hey, the Klan was started by the Democratic Party, so y'all should know. That means nothing to us. You're wrong, buddy. The, I'm the first person they pushed out of this crowd, standing here peacefully. Uh, Charlotte, Virginia, a terrible thing happened. Bye -bye. But the three parties was Antifa, the Black Lives Matter, we've ever seen and the KKK, here. all three a That's part right. of the Democratic yeah, Party. Bye -bye. So, bye -bye. All three a part of the Democratic Party. Move! 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 They're going to separate, by the way. Y'all need to get out of the way. Hold! 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 Separate, please separate. Why are you separating if you're allowing these people who have no We do too, we pay taxes. We pay taxes too illegal. We pay taxes too illegal. We pay taxes Meanwhile, yes, exactly. Do your job if you're here to keep us safe. What are you dividing us from? There's no one over there. There's no one on the other side of you. We're protecting our staff. Don't worry about it. We haven't done anything to your staff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. O
You're in college, right? Yes. How old are you, man? 23. 23. My name's Donald Ledford. Nice to meet you. I'm 48 year old. I never went to college. I got I got kicked out of high school, went to work, worked all my day. Mm -hmm. Why is it that kids these days can't can operate computers and all this stuff, but they can't look up their own history? Hmm. I mean, it's crazy. Man. Go home. Now, you ask me. Go home. What are your thoughts oh, about? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm not going to attack you or anything. I, 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 I just <laughs> my opinion like, is like, it's hard to say. I don't really have one. I'm just listening to what both sides have to say about the matter. Oh, hmm. about so you're just listening what, to a little discourse. Yeah, so, like what, what, what the people want it down, I just listen to what they have to say hmm. and what um, the people that want to leave it, what they have to say. Hmm. Yeah. Do you have, like, do you side with one side, or are you just listening? I side with the, I side with the side that wants to take it down. Hmm. Because, so, so why did he get to have his statue there? Why did not, why didn't it, um, why didn't someone else get to have it? Why, uh, I don't want to say it's a race thing. Well, some people take it like that, and some people take it, was if it's like it's just it's up there because because there's no reason you yeah, see why it's up there yeah like yeah that's what some people have to say like it's a race thing he's white or whatever what are your thoughts about the police presence here i don't really see why they have to be here because mm -hmm. as i as far as i can tell there's not it's not anything violent and that was the last interview that i got after I had ended filming that, the parent walked up to me and said that the reason why she brought him here is because they're of Cherokee descent. And he wanted the son to realize and understand what's happening today, how it could be influential to his future. She even went on to further elaborate how her ancestors even served on the Confederate Army. So when you see a statue like that, do you see that as a way to commemorate your ancestors who are Native American? Or do you view that as you're supporting a system that actually tried to kill your ancestors? And she wanted her son to figure that out. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, please comment or message me and I'll be happy to get back to you.